Uh, Lynn Larson at 553 Ocean Boulevard. Um, I'm here to create awareness and express my disappointment that the area north of Boar's Head, although it's included in the plan for road improvements that's being presented at the May 10th public meeting, is not included in the funded portion of the plan in the two uh, options that are being presented by the Hampton Beach Area Commission at that May 10th public meeting. The roads and the sidewalks in the area north of Boar's Head are deplorable, causing a serious safety concern for both residents and visitors. The failed drainage system of these roads have caused massive destruction to property and an enormous and illegal burden of dirt and mud-laden runoff to the marsh. Complicating matters, the feud between the town of Hampton and the state over maintaining the road and the sidewalk in this area hurts taxpayers and area visitors alike. Starting with drainage, I know the area, aim of the road improvement plan is not primarily drainage, but one can't separate drainage from safety and maintenance issues in this instance. The drains are built into the road system, and years and years of band-aid maintenance of the sidewalks and the roads have created a drainage crisis. I recently built a new home at 553 Ocean Boulevard. To obtain the required permissions from the board, the town, and the state, I spent thousands of dollars in engineering and special permits to satisfy conservation concerns. As you know, the permit re requires special drains to control runoff from roofs and even from the small roof of a shed in my side yard. I am not allowed to use fertilizers required to plant native vegetation to further pr protect marshland. My front walkway and turnaround area are required to be permeable pavers, and I am required to maintain all drains and permeable pavement by regular vacuuming. I understand and I support the need to protect our natural resources in Hampton. But it is extremely upsetting to see that neither the state of New Hampshire or the town of Hampton is held to the same standards that I am as a private citizen. I have difficulty understanding why the drainage that is occurring on a much damage that is occurring on a much greater scale due to poor road, sidewalk, and drain conditions are considered a lesser priority for funding than some cosmetic and parking improvements at South Beach. This past winter I lost at least a foot of soil from areas of my yard due to unchecked flooding from the street. I have deep gouges running on both sides of my property from the rivers that came from the roadway and through my yard. My topsoil went directly into the marsh along with many more tons of soil, rock, and sand washed in by flooding from the street. I was certainly not alone in this as many of my neighbors suffered much greater damage to their homes and property and to the marshland. Sidewalks in this area are in deplorable condition and in some areas they're literally impassable. Due to the long dispute between Hampton and the state over who should maintain the street and sidewalks in this area of Ocean Boulevard, no one assumes responsibility. It is my understanding that Hampton Town has agreed with state to take over care of the roads and sidewalks in this area once the state repairs the roads and sidewalk. However, if this area is not funded in the improvement plan, this can never happen. Tons of broken pavement and rocks thrown onto the boulevard during this winter storms were deposited on sidewalks and yards along Ocean Boulevard. During these storms, plows were running up and down Ocean Boulevard shoving rocks, sand, soil, huge sections of pavement, and water off the streets into our sidewalks and yards, worsening the impact on our homes and the marshland. Yep. Along with other residents, I shoveled up much of the debris in front of my home to facilitate removal. But the DOT trucks that have come to clean up the parking areas <laughs> drive right on by <laughs> And, and go around the piles. All these, although these rocks and broken pavement did not originate from our property, apparently they are now ours to deal with. 
As you know, Ocean Boulevard is a popular area for walking, jogging, bike riding, especially during summer events. However, it is literally not possible to walk on many Ocean Boulevard sidewalks due to poor sidewalk conditions, forcing pedestrians into the roadway along with excessively high-speed traffic. Riding bicycles along this area is hazardous as well. Both resi residents and visitors take their lives in their hands due to speeding drivers, lack of a bike lane, and in some places, lack of even a median strip. The two traffic lanes in each direction of Boar's Head are the site of daily drag races. Many mornings, there are newly laid black strips of rubber on the northbound roadway in front of my house. Drivers routinely speed along the boulevard, making it hazardous to cross Ocean Boulevard to reach the beach. The guardrail rail, along which visitors park in the center of Ocean Boulevard and which residents must climb over or walk beside has few openings and they do not correspond with the seawall openings, forcing people to walk in the street for long distances besides speeding traffic. If one does make it across the impossibly high curbs in a large section between Boar's Head and Winnicunit, mean residents and visitors alike are unable to step up onto the sidewalk, requiring traveling in the street beside speeding traffic until reaching an area low enough to get up onto the sidewalk. The steps built many years ago to allow access in one of these areas are so deteriorated that use of them is more hazardous than walking further in the roadway. I believe the transportation study found that traffic volume in the area north of Boar's Head does not support the two extra lanes and their removal would slow traffic to a much safer level. The intersection of Winnicott and Ocean Boulevard is very dangerous, especially during the summer when unfamiliar drivers routinely make their turns in the wrong direction and this has resulted in a long history of accidents. Looking at the road improvement plan south of Boar's Head, it seems unreasonable to me that 100% of the money under the two plan versions being recommended for consideration are being spent in South Beach only. Much of the funding is to add more parking spaces and beautify the main beach to boost tourism revenue, revenue and revenue for local businesses. However, north of Boar's Head, we are taxpayers that contribute substantially to the revenue of the town and we have serious, long neglected issues with road, sidewalk, and drainage conditions that deserve and need correction now. At the last meeting of the Hampton Beach Area Commission that I attended, we were told not to worry that we are in the road improvement plan and they will pursue funding at a later date. Since construction of the funded portion of the plan is not scheduled to start until 2022 or 24, this pushes the needed improvements north of Boar's Hood way too far into the future. We deserve and request that this board exert its influence to address our concerns. Thank you. Thank you.